Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Ray Torian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Empire of the Ants on the PlayStation 5. All right, so we're picking up right where we left off in the previous video. I like how Dying the sun shines the water. through the body. Yeah, the I think... The lighting's really nice in this game. They did a fantastic job with the visuals in this game. I don't know if we can make it across. I believe in you. Made it. You just gotta shake your booty enough. Yeah. Yeah, I've been very impressed with the visual aspect of the game. Which is something I wasn't really expecting from, you know, an ant game. I guess we could talk to this ant. A friend, a sister, and from Bellocon. Let me touch you, see the news, feel your goal. Yes, you must reach Tayukan as fast as possible. They need our help. Are you lost? I am. The markers from Belakan to Tayukan were destroyed by the flood. So I will stay here. Someone must be the bridge between the two cities. Okay. So yeah, you can just talk to these ants. It's not critical for the story. But yeah, I generally... When I'm playing off camera, I talk to all the ants. Alright, so we've got to figure out how the best way to get across here without landing in the water. Goodness. I'm not doing great with that. There's a jump in the spider somewhere, Jinx. I love them. We're going to go all the way up to the top of this, if we can get up there. Not entirely sure where it's at. So we should be able to get pretty far. We can just jump from the edge. Let's see if we can't get over that flower. And we made way past oh. it. That's okay. So we're trying to get to that tire. Again, I mentioned this last episode. This is one of the objects that we can explore. And we are oh, upside down. Me. Thought you were drowning. <laughs> oh, a slug. Gross. Yeah, climbing on the tire. Ugh. Jinx doesn't like slugs. I have a phobia, apparently. <laughs> you like snails? Are you okay with snails? I mean, I ate some. <laughs> that is true. Ah, uh, we're gonna die, guys. We didn't make it. Ugh. Luckily, the checkpoint system for these type of missions are pretty forgiving. It's not too bad. But no, I don't like snails or worms or slugs. And yeah, when we went on vacation to Europe, we both ate some snails, some escargot. It just tasted like chewy mushrooms to me. At first, kind of, except for not as good. Well, the longer you chew them, the more you're like, these are friggin' snails. <laughs> yeah, the more I thought about it, the more I didn't like it. Look at the trail he's leaving. Ugh. <laughs> it's like a tongue. Him. And tongues are gross. So we need to find seven points on this tire to reveal what it is. I know I've told this story before, but the story behind my slug phobia comes from seeing the puppet master as a child. And he was like vomiting out the slugs? Yeah, the woman. The woman puppet. She like throw up slugs in your mouth. It was terrifying. I remember really... I, mean, I thought she was really cool, but like the slugs, man. The slugs. I remember really liking Hope Master as a kid. I did too, but that shouldn't have been watching me. stuff like that. No, of course not. Not appropriate. But we can talk to this beetle here. No one here. is parenting us. No. <laughs> the blue drop. So as you can see here, we can't understand Burger, what it's saying. If only we could understand each other. Good luck out there, beetle. So we're at least friendly. Right, so here in the inside. That's the only reason. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to get this point and then that one right up there. And then we'll have all of them. And then we'll be able to reveal start. I know what there'd this be a is. spider there. There would. So this is a round black structure. Unknown origin. Unknown purpose. Bits are easy to tear apart. The entire structure is surprisingly solid. Do not eat. Do not transport back to nest. I don't know if there's really any 
my point to doing those besides if you're like trying to get all the trophies and achievements and stuff and just 100 percent the game well so. we met new friends i mean i like doing them just because it's interesting to see what the the ants think of the the object Can't and they're not it. difficult to do but it really depends on how you feel about the the climbing around in the game because some people are only going to want to play this for the tactical battles. Oh lord. Ooh, we yeah, we're like didn't make it. We're really close here to dying. But yeah, some people aren't going to like Oh no. Yeah, we're really close to dying. Here. Are not going to like these sections. And I think there'll be other people who don't like the tactical battles. I think I would be one of those people. I just want to wander around. Look at bugs and plants. Now, as for how much of the game is each of the two hearts, I would kind of say that it's half and half in a way. However, when we get to the place that we're going to, you'll see the kind of structure of the game where you have to complete a certain amount of missions in the area, but you don't have to complete them all. I wonder how high you can climb up that tree. Looks like or at least a that dead one. tree. Well, yeah, that one, but what about that one? Can you go all the way up to the top? And there's any reward for doing so. I think there's a trophy for going up to, like, the highest point or really high point and then leaving off. Another pride log. Yep. Which is where we need to go to. But, yeah, when we get to this section here... We only need to complete a certain number of the objectives. And so you get to pick what, which uh, missions you're going to do. And so how many of each type you do, you know, the, the missions where you're, you're wandering around doing the third person or third ant platforming, uh, or doing those tactical battles, really will be based off of which of the missions you select to do. But this is the city that we're trying to get to, Taikan. And so I always get a little confused when it first hops in because I don't know if it's in the cutscene still or from <laughs> the game because they look identical. They got some snacks. Mm -hmm. I bet we'd be hungry. All that jumping around. Yeah. It's just such a pretty game though. It is nice and peaceful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just and so an ant doing uh, ant things. That's why I kind of like this aspect of the climbing around's little little break in between the the tactical battles, which can sometimes be a little bit more intense. Uh, we need to talk to this ant. Nine thousand six hundred fifteen. You, you're not from around here. Let me see. Ah, Bellicon. You're here to see our queen. Follow the column of ants, the ones with the food. They will lead you to Taiyu Ni, our beloved queen. How are you going to be like greetings and then rude? <laughs> May I ask about the strange smell in you? I mean, that's well, kind of rude, rude too. From an expedition to an anomaly in the forest. Dried leaves glued together with the most extraordinary resin. And the smell like a damp old piece of moss with a dash of metal. The scent never left me. I wear it like a badge of honor. Anything special to report? No, everyone is terribly busy, and Tayuni must be waiting for you. She will be glad to hear from Bellicon. Any idea why the flood is happening? Does it really matter? My city's dying. Our priority is to move as many sisters and eggs away from this place. Thank you for your help. I was forgetting I gotta hold it. Alright, so we're gonna follow the the column. Of course, we also have that nice shiny objective marker. <laughs> Tell us where we need to go as well. So we're gonna be going into the colony to talk to the queen. Who are you? Come closer, let me feel you. 
Bella Khan has sent help. Your mother, Bella Kuni, be blessed. The situation here is dire. The flood is unstoppable. Help your sisters and Tai Khan before its destruction. Is there a way to stop the flood? Stop the flood? Do you forget water is our mortal enemy? Relentless. It digs. It crawls. It seeps. No, no. Tai Khan is doomed, and Exodus is our only hope. Where does the flood come from? We've enjoyed many seasons in Tai Khan, and this flood is a first. Yet it is too late for us. Investigating would be a waste of time. Our priority should be saving the resources of the city. And all my children. Did you see us cleaning our antenna? <laughs> we'll talk to the queen. We gotta look good. We'll talk to the queens. Royalty. We will save your daughters. Alright, so now... We've got to go to one of these two quest objectives. So when we press options and pause the game, you can see which missions are available here. So we've already completed the traversal mission, which was the one that got us to this location. And then there's three exploration missions. So those are the ones where we'll climb around and look for stuff or look for other ants. And then there's four tactic ones and three strategic. So just as far as the number of missions go, there's a lot more tactical battles here. And they've got a greenhouse. <laughs> I think this is one of the objects that we can explore. Yeah, it's a point of interest. And so these ones are a little bit trickier, like this one on the tire, since you have to go inside of them. It's only six points on this one, though. I want to say it's like three or four on the outside and then one on the inside, or excuse me, uh, two on the inside. Maybe it's half and half. We're going to go in and see. Are people living in there? People? Yeah. Ants mean, are ants? people too. There's a few in here. Wandering around, we can go talk to... This one. This is a really old ant. Let me check your antenna. Oh, so many stories, so many adventures. I bet you have collected everything, am I right? What do you mean, collected? There is so much in the world to collect. A leaf, a rock, a drop of honeydew. Sometimes I wish I could collect everything. Everything. He's even talking like an old ant. <laughs> Like a stamp collecting ant or something. So you just gotta get it all. So I saw two in here. This might be the last one of these we do, unless we find something that's really interesting. I was about to say, I still don't see it. A tiny little... <laughs> yeah, they're kind of hard to see. So bunnies. it's a translucent structure. Unknown origin, unknown herbis. Material is extremely solid and inedible. Careful, in summer, direct sunlight can result in instant death. It was too hot. I think it's the sunlight reflecting. But yeah, you can see how it can be a little tricky while climbing around stuff. As your perspective's changing, like, one moment going forward is pressing up on the stick, the next it's pushing down. So it takes a little getting used to. So we have two missions available right now. More will unlock. And you can see the mission name there. This one is Second Hunt. Let me check. Yes, you've been assigned a task. Like our sisters, we're going hunting. There's a network of caves nearby. They're filled with fireflies. Let's go. So this is actually one of the exploration ones. And since we just did some exploration, and you can always walk away after That's you get the mission. Rude. It is. Remember, you don't have to do all the missions, so I think in the case of these first two, you have to do them both before the rest of them unlock. We don't want to find fireflies? That sounds wonderful. Yeah, eventually. We'll do that one next. But I figured we would do a tactical battle since we just did some exploration. The sister from Belogon. When Mother said you were coming, a wave of joy was felt through our city. But I need to get to the point. We need help clearing one of our evacuation paths right in termite territory. What will be on the path? Termites, probably. 
You're not going to read that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Termites have outposts. We've checked for other paths, but this is the best one. Is there anything else we need to know here? No. So let's go clear the evacuation path. So it's going to be temperate, humid, and sunny. So I'm going to pause the game to see what the effects of those are going to be. So with the humid, it's going to affect our power durations and efficiency. And the sunny is actually going to give us some bonuses to the production. All right, so taking a look at the situation here, we have one nest right there. Those are our objectives up there. Gathering resources from a foraging point, build a chemical laboratory, build or upgrade four legions to tier two, build a super predator legion, and build a support legion. So this is our first nest. We got a few things that we can build here. I don't know if we have any other. Yeah, we have one more right there. It's got a lot more space, a lot more chambers. So this nest is the HQ of the area, and we do have one warrior legion. It's got some defenses. Don't really need to build it up any further, plus we don't have any resources. In fact, that's probably what we should work on is our economy here. Try and build up, let's see. Probably should do the wood yard first. So we'll get that started. And then we might want to go over to the other nest to get something else building. We have a lot of different things we can now get as well. I just want to scroll through these so you can see what our options are. And we already have a legion here, so we'll have to get another legion in the other location. I eventually want to unlock some of those powers too. The ants I was trying to figure out the name for mm -hmm. from my childhood in Texas were the red harvester ants. So those are like... The uh, big blocky ones. I see. Who like make the area around their hole like barren of all plants. Mm -hmm. I guess they're in the plains. They're pretty cool. Alright, so we're getting the economy built up. Uh, we need to get another legion. So we already have some warriors. So let's go ahead and get some gunners next. We'll get that started up. We should probably get some defenses do. too. A wood barrier perhaps. I mean this location might be safe. Nowhere safe for a bug. Yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and build that. So yeah, you will use other types of insects. I don't know that we can get much because we're lacking in wood at the moment. We're going to need to take over another nest. We're just waiting to get those gunners first. And then we'll also want to get that chemical laboratory constructed. So taking a look at that, it's going to require 80 of the wood. So we'll be able to do that. So instead, let's just use the food to get the gunners done a little bit quicker. And then we'll want to take over the next uh, nest location. I want to say there's another one in addition to that one where the, the fire bugs are in this area. But you can see each zone on the map there, which we can expand that. And we don't know the locations to all the nests of the termites. Oh, goodness. So yeah, we need to deal with those guys first. Those are the, the fire bugs. So we're going to bring our gunners over here. And then let's also get the warriors coming in. And then we'll kill the firebugs and then take over that location that has 57 food. So these guys are moving a bit slow. Now once they get over here, they'll attack them and the gunners will assist them. No, we can build here. We need to get ourselves one of our powers. Uh, we could also take a look, see if there's any information things we want to get right now. So this displays alerts when an opponent is interacting with nest, foraging points, or resources. This is a passive power that increases our max stamina, stamina regeneration, and our health. 
And this will increase the detection range of your legion so they discover enemies and nests from further away. So they're doing that battle over there. You can see that that should be done fairly quickly. Let's go and get the rage pheromones. Pheromones of rage. Mm -hmm. All right, so the, the battle here is almost done. Oh, the carnage. <laughs> I like the battles. I kind of wish ants fought like this. I would just watch. I mean, they, they do tear them to shreds. Yeah, but they don't chuck them. So it's going to get that extra food that completes that objective <laughs> as well. Jinx just wants to watch them tear each other apart. Well, I just want to watch them throw things. You know, I want to say... Actually, let's keep this guy here. I want to say there's another one over here. Another nest. Well, there's scraggler firebugs. We just gonna let them live? Yeah, it's right here. So let's get this taken. Rare gunners over here as well. We can get the the high point. So you can watch it. So yeah, they'll take that out for us. And that might be all the nest in this area. And so once we we have that, we'll control the entirety of the region. We're almost at the cap for our food here, so we really need to spend that. Let's make sure the gunners are assisting. They are not here yet. They're coming. They got little legs. So warriors should be able to do this on their own, even without the gunners, but yeah, now they're getting some, some help there. It'll speed the process up a little bit. See these guys in the back here, they're just <laughs> not even fighting. They're like, nah, they got Those it. Those are the cowards. They're just waiting to be back up. Uh-huh. Cowards are in it, always in the back. <laughs> All right, so the nest has been captured. And so we can start building here if we want. Probably won't get any defenses because uh, I don't think this region should get attacked. It's it hidden. might. But yeah, oh, it's kind of hidden. There's more. Those are our ants, Jinx. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you said that last time, too. I'll say it every time. Every time. They look like the termites. So we need to get the workers. Why are they so tan? Because they're the, uh, the nest ants. They like protect the nest. They don't get out much. No. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, we're going to get this. Yeah, I guess we'll get this one here. Since this one's kind of far away, we do want to get the wood yard as well. Still need to get the chemical laboratory. So that's the next thing we'll want to spend our wood on. And then we won't get any of these because we have to walk all the way over here if we want to upgrade that. So I think that's good, unless we wanted to get another one of these ones. I don't really want to spend the wood. So we can get this one. This one's food. And we got plenty, plenty of food. In fact, we can go and speed this up. Get it done a little bit quicker. All right, excellent. So let's go ahead and move over to our other nests. I love all the bird calls in the background. Mm-hmm. I would think that would make us in North America. I guess we could do the, the one thing at the headquarters. I assume that's where we're at. I don't know if it uh, ever actually states. Because why would an ant know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you might be able to see like a, uh, I don't know, some type of signs or something. All right, so we're getting that constructed. That'll complete that objective. Still need to get the Super Predator Legion and the Support Legion, and we need to build our upgrade for Legions to Tier 2. So we'll need to take another nest over, guys. Once we get the Chemical Laboratory, I think that should allow us to upgrade our troops. So as far as where we need to go next, I think it's this area here. So we want to bring all of our troops in preparation for our next offensive. Because I believe, yeah, there's a nest right here. 
I believe there's another one over there. There's something over there. So this is kind of like the, the middle point because I think the termites are right over there. I'm not sure why it's not letting me upgrade them from afar. Kind of inconvenient because we'll have to walk over to each of them. I know we have enough to upgrade at least these uh, warriors. So let's go ahead and do that to get the warriors improved. That does take them time to upgrade and some additional food. I think we can probably take this objective over here with just the workers. So let's bring these guys in and then we'll have the workers attack as soon as we have our uh, range units in place. Is it already damaged a bit? Yeah, these nests aren't too bad because it's not the, the termite nest. I think this is all like neutral territory here. Oh. So they're not like building it up, as you'll see happen in other areas over there where the termites actually are. This is kind of like the, the choke zone, I guess, choke point, because they'll cross here. We need to send our workers or pair. to get us extra food. So yeah, the workers are doing fine, taking this out. We'll go ahead and get the warriors rushed. So does nothing attack you? They do attack you, yeah. Oh. You can die. You know, you have health, as we've seen. Uh, let's go ahead and get another mushroom farm. There's other upgrades we can get here in the economy section. So salvage gives you 50% refund when manually destroying a chamber. This will allow you to get more legions because you do have a maximum number and so you got to get these in order to increase that number. Uh, we're not at the cap just yet so we don't have to worry about it. This reduces the powers cooldown. This decreases all legions recovery food costs. So yeah all stuff that kind of will help us out. I don't know if we have enough food to get anything but what I want to do is get the the door beetles. These are the super predators that we need. Uh, we are just short on the food, so we should be able to get that now. So those are being constructed. Frankly, food is what's limiting us. So let's go ahead and get our workers get in the food deposit. And then we're going to bring the legion, excuse me, the, the warrior legion and the gunners over there to take over the next point. Well, now it's allowing me to upgrade it. We're just short on the food. We can't upgrade the workers here. It's a little bit too far away. We need to get more powers. I want to do that in these closer nests though. Like perhaps this one here. If we've got the food, which we do not. But the workers are going to start bringing food in here. So that should start climbing up much faster. Ants would be all over that pair. Yeah. You see them oh, there now? Are. Yeah. <laughs> There's our workers. So they'll like strip the food and then they'll carry it to the closest nest and deposit it. So they all work together. And so that'll keep our workers distracted. So let's go ahead and have these guys post up right here while the warriors take over that point. So they'll get that nest for us. Again, these are all really easy because it's the, the neutral territory. It's the termites which actually fight. They'll send their own legions after us. We'll have to defend our territory. They'll build up their nest as well so they'll have access to you know, many of the different type of upgrades like we do. Make them harder to take. Oh really? Yeah. Let's go ahead and place these guys here and have them take out the firebugs. Well, we'll work on this nest here. Have you ever been bit by one of those? Bit by one of what? A firebug? Yeah. I don't think so. It blisters up real bad. We need to increase our storage. So let's get the storage expansion. So we can carry a bit more. And then we need to get an additional warrior legion. I also need to get that support one to complete this objective. I guess we'll get that now. 
since uh, it's one of the last things we got to do here. We're getting the aphids. Yeah, it is one of our objectives. Is that going to bring in the ladybugs? We now have the, yeah, probably jinx. <laughs> we now have the door beetles. So these are our super predators. So let's place those guys right over there. We shouldn't need them for this area. And then we need to grab this, this 57 food, send it to the closest nest. And I think that's it over here. Still we got some sure firebugs running away. a lot of away. bugs alive. Maybe they work for us now. I don't think so. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and take all these legions. Those are our beetles, by the way. Jess. Oh, those are our beetles? Yeah. Those are cool. Yeah, they're pretty powerful. So we need to continue to invest in this nest over here. Can you ride them? Um, I don't know if you can ride those ones. So I want to make sure that we're getting the tier two of the reinforcement call. See if there's anything in here we might want to get. Traders. Displays the upgrades built as well as the state of the legion in the enemy nest you are aiming at. So that'll be helpful. Is there any space here? There is not. Could build up the defenses though. Like perhaps just get them the walls, the wood barrier. So now we're a little bit short on the wood. We'll do them pretty good on the food since the. Uh, the workers are bringing so much food in from the, the pair. All right, so we need to take this next objective, and I think this is the last one. You know what? I want to say this isn't opening up because we haven't completed the objective yet. We need to find a way across. All right, so let's go ahead and have these guys and the beetles attack the great trunk nest. So those are our beetles. So no, we cannot crawl on these ones. But yeah, they're very powerful. And they're strong against like all the, the different types of units. Now let's go ahead and upgrade. Well, won't let me upgrade them from range. So we're gonna have to go to these locations, unfortunately. Now we got the aphids. So I think this support unit like heals units nearby. So basically like a, a mobile nest, mm. since the nest will heal the units. So we capture that new nest. So let's go ahead and upgrade the veteran workers to level two. And then we also need to get the gunners upgraded as well. You know, I should have checked to see if we wanted to get any powers over there. So yeah, we got those gunners upgraded, and then I guess we can get like a level two here. Shielding spores. Get some shields. I guess we'll get that too. So we're doing good on resources at the moment. I feel like our ant needs a little cape. <laughs> He is kind of like a superhero, honestly. So now we're just waiting to get those upgraded. So in the meantime, let's get a wood barrier in this location. I'd like to get him some other stuff, but you can see that we're short on the uh, wood. I just really want an acid gland volcano. What? That sounds pretty <laughs> cool. That's what it said. So. That's a thing you can get. You just gotta click the button. Where? Was that in this in one? In the purple. Oh, in the purple? Oh. The acid gland <laughs> evolution? Yeah. We do want to get the veteran nest guards. The volcano. I it mean, looks like a volcano. It does look like a volcano. I get I get what you mean, Jinx. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't know that that's what you were talking about. I thought it turned your ant mound into an acid volcano. <laughs> I wasn't going to question the science of it. So we want to protect this location since it's uh, right next to the the area where they'll be able to cross into. Same thing with this one here. We want to make sure this one has some upgrades, though. We're actually lacking wood at the moment. 
put them beetles to work. Unfortunately, can't do anything. It looks like they could carry some stuff. Only the workers work, Jinx. Can we get the Legion? I guess we got food. Are we at our cap here? Yeah, we're at our cap, so we need to get... Which again, we're, we're short on the wood, so we can't get anything. But we need to get this one here, so we can get another Legion. I'd like to get another uh, group of workers. So we now have enough wood to get this. We're also gonna get the tier two shielding spore power. And then we should be able to get our, our additional workers, which we wanna make sure we're getting the, the level two workers. There we go. And so you can see it's now opened up. So the water has receded, I guess. Yeah. And so I think that's because we're still kind of in a tutorial in a way. This is like our first real mission here. And so now they'll start crossing this area and attacking us. So we're going to send our troops over here. To hold the pass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. While we just finish upgrading everything. Which I guess we just need to get some defenses here. But I don't think we can afford to get a wall. Was that a dog barking in the game? Yeah, I think so. There's dogs. I mean, I haven't seen any, but... I'm gonna pet that dog. <laughs> Alright, so I think that's everything here, guys. So I think we're ready to go. We got all the powers. And you can see that there's some enemy termites over here. A gunner. Charge! Oh yes, we also want to rush these guys out. So yeah, if we took our time getting ready, they'd eventually start sending attacks against us. But they gotta build up their own troops. We're but not also, gonna wait though. We're not going to. Sneak attack. Bring these guys up here. Very so close. So shoot down. Attack. <laughs> <laughs> and so now we're in battle. They never saw us come. Never saw it. Termites don't have scouts. Oh, it's these guys barking. These are the dogs. <laughs> Why did they make those noises? <laughs> so you can see how when I'm running in here, I'm taking damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're losing health. So they do attack you. So yeah, they're crazy. Look at them. Just smacking them Goodness. with their little paw. Um, so we actually have an enemy legion here. That's just attacking. Those are the warriors. They're tearing them to shreds. So let's go ahead and send our own guys there. To take them Giving out. Giving them the elbow. And we'll also make sure that the, the door beetles are attacking them. So yeah, we're trying to take over the nest here. But they are counter-attacking us. What a battle. Mm-hmm. So much chomping. So yeah, it's a, a big battle. Now what we can do is send these workers. Take them out. I feel like I told these guys, you know what? I, I think they stopped getting the food because we upgraded them. Oh. Uh, I just thought they were too good to work now. Mm-hmm. All right, so you can see they're sending a lot of legions against us right now. Yeah, that's kind of wild. Mm -hmm. We're still trying to take their nest over as well. It's slow going. We need another gunner unit. Yeah. Well, we also need another uh, well, warrior legion. Well, I feel like this is enough acid flying around. We don't need any more booty juices. <laughs> we have taken over their nest. Excellent. So we're going to want to get this upgraded with some defenses because we know they're going to attack here. They want it back. 
So we've got the wood barrier, and then here in the economy section, we can't get anything because we don't have any wood. All right, so let's send, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and heal first. We'll help them heal a little bit faster. Since uh, many of our units took a bit of damage. And I think we'll just go right after them. Because they're pretty weak right now. The first time I did this map, I completed the little objectives very quickly. And so it opened up before I had uh, taken all the points. And so while I was still taking those points, they were attacking me. And it gave them more time to get ready. But they do not have a good setup here. You so they're much weaker. Them. Yeah, we kind of rushed them. And so they're much weaker than when I did this map the first time. Oh, they got three legions coming. Uh-oh. Do they have any special bugs? No, not right now. They just have the uh, the workers and their, their soldiers. They have a lot more legions than we do at the moment, though. So we're going to need to boost ours with our abilities here. So we're going to do the rage pheromones. Did that get very many of them? Or is it like a circle that moves with you? It's in the circle. So every unit that's in the circle is affected. I see. So all our units were affected. Uh, we need to get these guys attacking over here. And then we need to move this unit back. Yeah, they're locked in combat so they can't get out of there. Alright, so let's use our shielding spores to protect them. And then we'll see if we can't get them back now. Nope, they're still locked in melee combat. It's once they're in combat, they can't break free. Yeah, it seems like they do have difficulty breaking out there. Uh, let's go and get the veteran ne uh, nest gunners. Get the volcano. <laughs> So it's just that legion that's still left here. Doesn't that one just make your archers shoot further? Or your range dance? The one that you want? Yeah. The volcano? Increases the nest gunner's firing range by 25%. And we can get it. We did just get the, the nest gunners. There's really no point in getting those if you don't have the nest gunners though. Yeah, true. So that's why I didn't, I didn't get it beforehand. Uh, let's go ahead and send these guys over there. Take that nest over. But you can see that their nest is stronger. It has a much higher health than the, the other points we've been taking. Uh, these guys need to heal up. Let's send our door beetles to help out. Taking the nest. And we'll leave our gunners here so they can heal. We see some more workers coming up over this way. And then there's an additional nest over here that we need to take. And you can see that they're building up their defenses. So they have the wood barrier. They also have the nest gunners. This is where one of their worker legions are stationed to level two. Yeah, we can see everything that the, the nest have. But they can't see us. Because we're sneaky. We're sneaky like that, Jinx. It's probably the cloak we're wearing <laughs> in our imagination. So we should have this nest soon, and then we'll go over to the other one. I think there's a whole other area over there, too. But you can see how these missions take a bit longer than the exploration ones. And so I feel like you end up spending more time doing these battles than the actual, you know, third-person platforming or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. so we should have this finished up soon. We're going to speed up using the, the Rage Pheromones, though. Get the nest taken over a little bit quicker here. So we definitely need to get another wood yard. You see that wood is generally the thing I have the most issues with. I guess we can get this, too, since we're always sitting at the maximum there. All right, so let's go ahead and do the next attack. I did forget to move our support units with these guys. So we're going to attack over here. 
Don't really need to use all these. So you know what, let's keep these guys here for defensive purposes. Or actually to take out those guys. And instead of have these guys assist. And you know what, let's also have the workers help. Well, let's go and explore over here and see how many more points we need to take over. See the bumblebee jinx? Yeah, he's saying, hey, do you need a look? Oh, I ran into the water. <laughs> yeah, I just really like the, the look of everything. Yeah, it was done very well. Mm -hmm. Like the world was crafted in a chaotic way that's very natural. So we have this point still to take, and then there's this point over here. That's the, the headquarters. And so I think that's it, after we finish up with the, the current objective. All right guys, so we're just about ready to do our final push. See so if we wanna put any defenses in here. I feel like we got just about everything that we need. I guess we could get this here to reduce the power cooldown. And we're just gonna be sending all of our troops over here, guys. So you see, they continue to do these attacks. But they're just too weak at this point. And so they can only send like the one legion at us at a time. Really? So just one at a time? Well, they have the two nests, uh, so they can get up to two legions. So they're just too weak. Poor fellers. And so once we destroy those guys, we're going to send the entire army to take that over. Rock's nest. And what we want to do is just take these guys, the gunners, put them up there, and then they don't need to actually be attacking. We'll just be healing. Someone names their colonies as creatively as I do. They already have names. I know. Oh, okay. I thought you were... <laughs> yeah, I guess these do sound like... There the, are rocks in this nest. The type of names that you would do, like in uh, Civilization or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shinies. Yeah, shiny place. Moo cows. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's make sure these guys are actually attacking the nest as well. We'll send the workers here to get this done. So you see that they're sending legions from the, uh, the HQ. Oh, I thought now, they were sending in the bumblebees. One thing I thought it was interesting is that they will sometimes try and like go around your troops if you outnumber them and like trying to attack your nest uh, behind you. Oh. So they do have a bit of a uh, strategy. But at this point, there's there's really not much they can do, guys. They've just about lost this nest here. Now, we don't actually have to take this one. The objective is just to destroy their headquarters. But we don't want to leave them behind us. Yeah, we just do this for fun. We want everything. So now we need to get this guy taken out here. Everything the light touches will yeah. be ours. <laughs> These guys need to get out of there. They can't. All right, so let's actually use our heal ability here to heal these workers up because they're taking a lot of damage because they're fighting the, uh, the warriors. All right, so those guys have been defeated. So let's go ahead and take everybody and have them attack the nest. And we'll just kind of redirect some of these troops. Have them here. You need a good stick to stand on. We got a rock, Jinx. You don't know, like my rock? <laughs> Alright, so make sure these are all attacking the nest here. Now yeah, these guys should probably go back here because they're all damaged. And then what we'll do is use our rage pheromones to get everybody angry. <laughs> I think they were already angry. You, just, you can see they do significantly more damage though. When we use that ability. Well, I don't see them biting at anybody but each other. I'm not entirely sure if they're attacking. Let's make sure they're attacking the nest. Oh, we didn't get our gunners close enough either. And 
and then we'll use the rage pheromones again. Hopefully get the health down a little bit quicker. Yeah, you see that they have uh, the veteran nest gunners to defend it, so they have a wood barrier have to defend, uh, destroy, I mean, and so that's the reason why the health wasn't going down. Oh, I see. It's going down now. Yeah. Once we've destroyed the, the wood barrier, then with all these troops, it's not too difficult. Victory! We actually got a trophy, no ant left behind. Win a strategic mission without losing a single legion. Apparently I haven't done that before. Nice. There's also a trophy I'd like to get where you don't take any damage in a battle. Like your... You personally? Yeah, your personal ants. But I always get all up in there and get myself hurt. So that's uh, the tactical battles, guys. They do get pretty large because there'll be battles where you don't have control of all of the the legions under your side's control like you have allies and so you'll have all your legions and then there'll be the allied legions and then all the enemies and so battles can get pretty crazy so hopefully i'll be able to show you guys one of those soon uh, we now have a lot more missions available so there's this second hunt which is the exploration mission that we already looked at there's another exploration mission here, Lost Sisters. That's the one where we need to find those missing ants before they drown. Kind of a trickier one. Because you gotta move kind of quick. And then here's a tactical battle flanking. Yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. Really focused on showing off some of the, the tactical gameplay and that we've unlocked it a bit more. Uh, if you did, make sure you have a like on the video, subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell and leave a comment. Do hope to see you guys on the next one. And thanks for watching.